hello guys welcome back to my channel do not forget to click on that subscription button and click the notification bell along so that anytime i upload a video you'll be the first to be notified and today we are going to talk about ego i'm not just going to specify and say i'm talking to the men or i'm talking to the ladies i'm talking to everybody generally including myself so let's get started my loved ones why do you have pride do you gain anything from having pride no i ask myself do i think of having pride no i don't because if you have pride in anything you are doing, you cannot achieve it the way you want it. For instance, today, you are a married woman or you are dating a guy and then you have pride. Or the guy has pride. That relationship will be formal. It's not going to be informal. There will be nothing like joke. There will be nothing like talking to each other to share ideas or advise each other. Why? Because one is trying to form big to the other person. When you do that, the relationship will not be the way you want it. If you are a woman and you are married, maybe probably your husband went to work and then he came back from work. Instead of you to welcome your husband with a warm welcome, smiling, you can even sing for your husband to welcome him. You remove the blazer for him or you remove the suit, anyone. But nowadays, men like wearing blazers more than suit. So when you remove them, how do they feel? They feel love. That their woman is down to earth. Their woman is the best woman they have in this world. They won't look out there for another pretty lady to come and replace you. It's not possible. Because whatever they need in their wife is in you. What is next? You bring food for him. If you want to take his shower, you help him to take his bath. You can even warm the water. All those things make relationship to reach at the level you want it to. But if that ego is there like evil, is there like Satan, to pinch you and tell you that, hey, Maram, stop what you are doing. Hey, don't do this. Do you think whatever you need from him, you can get it? Sometimes you meet women who are married and they'll be crying. You ask them, why are you crying? And the answer they will give you is, my husband did not love me. My husband don't take care of me. But did you ask yourself a question? Why your husband is treating you like that? You don't. Maybe you are that woman who has ego, who cannot do anything that to please your husband. So, eventually your husband will not show you that love. He will go outside to look for young pretty ladies and date them spend more money on them and then you you will just be receiving cobos ego is like a satan it's like evil who talks to you at any given moment you want to do good so don't allow it to win you now i want to talk about the men's side you will see that men too they have ego especially when they are with their friends they can't even tell their wife i love you they can't tell them honey they can't call them sweet words. That pride is disturbing them because they don't want their peers to tell them you are useless. You are so cheap. Why will you be behaving like this to your wife? Don't listen to those people, they are Satan. And people who tell you that, I don't do this, I don't do this, they are the ones who are doing it in their matrimonial house and they will not allow you to do it. So don't listen to them. Take care of your wife. Make her to feel the best woman in this world and she will take care of you. But if you just want to have that kind of behavior when you are in the house, you are just like a lion. When you are outside, you are just like a rat or sheep. Then your house will always be on fire. You will never get what you want. Your wife will not shower you. Your wife will not sing for you. Your wife will not bring food for you because she is not happy. You are that kind of man, whenever you come from work, you're always like this, boning. Bring my water for me. Do I have food? If I don't have food, I want to go out to the restaurant. With their deep voice, horrible voice. See to respond the same thing to you. I don't have food. Did you give me money to cook? You see? You see? Your house is turning to something else. 
But if the love is there, and then that pride is not in you, you can even just come from work, just come and hug your wife. Honey, I miss you. How have you been? Wow, today work was stressful. Wow, today there was a lot of documents on my table, but I just have to clear it so that I can see my pretty woman. How do you think that woman will feel? She will feel excited. She will feel that good emotion. She will be, she will feel passion. She will feel love. And then that can permit her to do anything for you at that moment. Then you will not look outside again. And then this goes to people who have ego in their workplace. Whenever they say, okay, fine, something good has come for everybody. Some of them, they just want to sit in their office and wait for instruction. Wait for somebody to come and tell you, this is for everybody. Do you guys understand? It's for everybody. This package is for everybody. Every, anybody can benefit from it. But that individual will be inside the office. If they don't call me, I will not go. Why will I go? Ah, I'm the director of this office. You not write any letter to me. Nothing was wrong. I will not go. You see? Why will you wait? And some other directors are over there. They don't just want to do it. When people don't really uh, make them feel that they are the director or they are... Oh, they are the manager of that company. Please fight that ego. Fight it away. Let it go away from you. It's an evil thing that comes into you. It's a demon. Let it go. So somebody out there, learn from this and teach others. And I'm not saying that you should just learn, but implement it so that it can benefit you at any time. I love you guys. Don't forget to click on the subscription button.